Alright, welcome back to more Sonic Mania Plus. This is part 5. I'd like to introduce you to the Press Garden Zone, another one of the originals um, that is not in another Sonic game. Very temporarily ruined, like I will admit. Um, the key title, as you saw for the stage, Press Garden. Apparently, Eggman has been taking his time transforming this place, you know, to make it a press environment building so he can spew his propaganda that Sonic is actually the bad guy and he's trying to do good by the people. Of course they all know not to buy into any of his nonsense. And this actually served as a purpose, I just read the concept and creation um, of this place. That it was actually made by the Meiji Shrine in um, Shibuya, Tokyo, in the Japan country. Why? Why me? I can't believe that was actually true. That well-known legendary fact. Again, something else I learned. Um, I'll probably have to take up a more research um, regarding the situation on that. So we got crushes and slowly but sh surely almost got my words spotted there for a second it will destroy the wooden crates and if you're still there by the time the last ones are destroyed you will be too so yeah just get going that's all I can say um, can you imagine if I'll as I was gonna say before I was propelled into the spikes again stupid propeller I was gonna go on record to say if there was any breaking news that Dr. Eggman was actually saying what these facts were actually true um, is that Sonic is really actually the main bad guy of course everyone knows as I already mentioned I'm not gonna buy into any of it um, I would have liked to have seen possibly news that that pesky hedgehog gathered all seven of my chaos sentinels, always foiling my plans. I can never get any break, not once throughout this whole franchise. I demand justice, hence why I am doing what I am doing and making all these new papers with Sonic's wanted face on there. Ooh, cheeky dick. That was also a sucker punch. But good place to put it in that would stop me um, dead in my tracks there. Tails, time for you to do your thing and lift me up. Okay, that last bit didn't go according as I wanted to, but hey, I still got up there. I'm doing my Sonic 3 Knuckles concert where I'm just, you know, hugging every single wall in case there's another special ring. That will give me 50 rings. These wooden crate crates, ah, uh, I don't know what's wrong with me today, are very fragile. And if you destroy them with a burst of speed with the fire shield, um, they'll be destroyed. And we got an extra life in the main process. Um, are we supposed to go left of some sort? I'll find out when I can stop falling down. Up we go. Yes we are. Going down. Now up. And everywhere else about. That almost was reminiscent of Chemical Plant Zone where that long loop or ramp of speed well, careful gather up those wings and already over 4 minutes in, we're at the mini boss now this is called Shiver Saw now you can't physically damage this robot you have to wait for him to do that himself and the only way to do that is use these wooden crates to your advantage um, he'll break one of his arms off and then that's your opportunity to hit him 
Let's lure him over here. Wait for him to do his thing. Now we get him. Frank Cells, you got an extra hit in for me. That was three in total. I think this next one might do it, I think. Yep, there's your answer. The whole place pretty much gets blown up. Now we are outside in this very ice looking whatever. We'll see more after the results screen. Okay, thank you very much. I still don't know where the exact hidden monitors are when we try to reveal them by launching the post in all different directions. I'll probably have to look it up on a video of someone actually getting or finding every single one. Because you never know, it could be Bubble Shield, it could be the fire one I have right now, Lightning, a Ring Box. I don't think I found one that um, was a one-up. I think that is extremely rare or might not been added into this. Oh, that was a... Oh, what is that machine? It's coming to me, but I can't get it out. It's where you destroy all the sawdust in there. Ah, uh, no, it's gone. Darn it. Very nice looking background. Very snow looking. Are those actually lampshades or posts, whatever? Now normally I would have to get frozen. Whoa! That was a hidden ring there. Darn. Can I get back up? I think we may be able to. Aw, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Tails, I'm gonna need you to try that again. We're gonna get it one way or another. Finally we do. Thanks for the assist. We got what we came for. Now let's get out of here. Very happy with that burst of momentum. I think this machine is a sawduster. Of course, that's not going to make the stage any prettier. Was that a bear? I think. Yeah, this certainly looked like one. Very odd of what animals you're free when you destroy these bad dicks. What happened to the spring? Did it get destroyed? I think it did. Ah, it's amazing what things you'll learn in this. Oh, would you look at that? We're at the boss. Another one of the hardboard heavies. But look at that, he can't hurt me because I've got a fire shield. But he can still do it to Tails. If I ever get out of this. Oh, now he's going to freeze me. Darn it. Oh, and there goes all my rings as well. What an insult to injury and I'm going to die. Unless I finish him now. Yes. That almost took a dramatic turn for the worse. I don't know how we survived. Got off to a real strong start, but then... Oh, it, it was looking really bad then. But we did it. And overall, this part only took just about nine minutes to do. Honestly, thought it was going to be longer than that. There's that fat piece of shit with the Phantom Ruby, which transports us again. This looks familiar. Stardust Speedway, but that's going to be in part six. So I will catch you then. This is me signing off. Catch you then. Next time, take it easy.